There are so many dive watches on the market today. Even the black on black examples can struggle to remain distinct. Well, rather than turning to design gimmicks, Ball have relied on their modern watchmaking methods to keep the Engineer 2 Skin Diver Heritage Manufacturer Chronometer, my word, that is a big name, very unique. It's evolved thanks to an in house movement, extreme scratch resistance, and their signature tritium gas tubes. Starting with a blackened case, Ball have opted for something pretty special. Granting stainless steel the hardness of sapphire, the coating is made from a form of titanium carbide ceramic. It not only gives off an air of ruggedness thanks to the matte black appearance, but encourages adventure while almost daring you to try and scratch it. Mm. The bezel is similarly protected by sapphire, giving the case a taste of gloss which matches the polished sections of the 22mm bracelet. That's assuming you choose to wear it over the rubber strap option. Now they say that black watches wear smaller than usual. However, you should still be aware that this, well, it's still a fairly large watch. The 42 mm diameter will suit most people who enjoy tool watches, like myself. But the 53 mm lug to lug distance may catch some wrists off guard. The 15.2 mm thickness is pretty much as tall as it can comfortably be, although that's nothing new for a beefy 200 meter diver. If you're unfamiliar with the Ball brand as it stands today, then you'd be even more surprised once the lights go out. Using tritium in micro gas tubes, Ball ensure their luminous markers will stay bright for a minimum of 10 years without the need for UV charging. What's more, they can alter the color of the gas in any way they like, giving you the option to choose between a standard green and orange color scheme or a rainbow array for some hidden playfulness. Assuming the watch gets serviced every 10 years, the tubes will be replaced for fresh ones. Aside from the loom, the watch has a very attractive dial. The difference between the rectangular hour hand and the sword minute hand makes for easy legibility, and the yellow tipped seconds hand even has a little tritium tube of its own, while the ornate ball logo features as a counterbalance as per normal. A previous generation of this watch used the ETA 2836 movement, but it got replaced by the in-house ball RRM 7309C. Now this change has led to the increase in thickness as well as a loss of the weekday display. However, I think that the dial is more balanced as a result. The manufacturer movement also boasts a power reserve of 80 hours while retaining a smooth 4 hertz beat rate and COSC certified chronometer status guaranteeing an accuracy of minus 4 to plus 6 seconds per day. Well, what do you think of this black on black weapon on the wrist? I gotta tell you, I handle many watches, but Ball's build quality is outstanding. It is right up there with the best of the best. The Ball Engineer 2 Skin Diver Heritage Manufacture Chronometer is limited to just 1,000 pieces and at a price of 3,449 US dollars. If you've enjoyed this video and you have not yet subscribed to Time and Tide, well, you know exactly what to do. I'll see you on the flip side.